subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Latest on Tropical Depression 07L, which has just formed in the open Atlantic in the main development region, the first cyclone in the Atlantic to do so this year. As of 6 p.m. Eastern Time, July 21st, it currently has winds of 35 miles an hour sustained, with a minimum pressure of 1,009 millibars. The storm is currently located at 9.8 degrees north and 40.4 degrees west, a stage 2 on the CDPS scale for the time being mostly attributed to its expected continued small size, significant damage possible where the storm makes a close approach or direct impact. Distances and miles right now, Barbados 1,148, St. Vincent 1,242, Grenada 1,267, Trinidad 1,250, and St. Lucia 1,235. All these are really just in general Windward Island region. Uh, a potential landfall or close approach is possible in any of these areas. No warnings currently in effect. This will change pretty much within the next 36 to 48 hours at maximum for the time being. Uh, it's just too far out for them to actually put watches in place yet, but the Windward Islands will likely be seeing adverse conditions from this cyclone. Here's the GFS model coming showing the area of influence of the storm. It's a bit of a late initialization. Uh, this is a 12Z run, but you can see the area of influence generated by the storm through the cloud cover and precipitation moving through the Windward Islands around the day four mark and then kind of clearing out into the Eastern Caribbean. There is a notable model split. Most of the models dissipate the storm in the Eastern Caribbean and begin weakening it. Uh, weakening it around days four to five as it encounters much more hostile conditions, but there are a few outliers that actually strengthen it and keep it strong potentially as a hurricane, so we will need to monitor that in case those outliers are right. In the meantime though, sea surface temperatures won't be an inhibitor. 28 degrees about where the storm is right now, and it's going to be moving over mostly waters of the same temperature, if not a bit warmer, as it gets closer to the Windward Islands. 29 degrees and pockets of 30 are available for it. Here's the wind speed forecast on GFS again, late initialization on the 12Z run here, but you can kind of see this swirl that shows the center of circulation move a bit to the west-southwest at first on a little dip, and then move basically due west through the rest of the forecast period, crossing through the Windward Islands around the day 4 mark. Uh, this model actually has it as a tropical storm strength at that time, that's the general consensus right now. Uh, and then it, this particular model of the GFS also shows it dissipating out uh, in the Eastern and Central Caribbean. But for the meantime, we're going to be looking at those potential impacts for the Caribbean over anything else. Tropical Storm Force winds, Barbados 15%, St. Vincent also 15%. That goes the same for Grenada. These chances will be rising as the storm gets more organized, stronger, and closer to land as well. But for the meantime, Trinidad at 13%, St. Lucia at, 12 at 11%, I'm sorry. Uh, but regardless, those will rise in general. This is the model spread right now, some of the models, you can see this is why the cone exists. There is a significant variance in where it might end up potentially making a landfall or close approach. You have the furthest north ones showing closer to St. Lucia, while the furthest south ones, and that one doesn't even include all of them, bring it down much closer uh, to potentially Trinidad, so we will have to be monitoring that. Uh, just for the time being, uh, we'll get a much clearer picture within the next two to three days of where this storm is most likely uh, to make a close approach to. Here's the latest satellite imagery. I chose this one just so you can see how small this system actually is, and it's expected to remain small. That's why its CDPS rating is particularly low, uh, despite any projected intensity of rainfall totals for the time being. Um, regardless, this does mean it can still bring threats, localized heavy flooding, stronger winds, to wherever it makes a close approach or direct impact to. So all interests in the Windward Islands should be monitoring the progress of Tropical Depression 7 closely. Force 13 will be doing so as well. It'll be featured in tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin, and we'll have future updates when needed. You can follow us on our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already, make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook, it's Force13 to find our latest posts there, and we're also on Twitter, it's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13, or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below, and you can message Fool13 at extension 9094.